Hello there guys, Vonnie here, back with another video, I hope you're having a great day, and today in this video I'll be showing you all 10 things that you may have missed in Season 8. But I have a little game to play with you guys, I can see how many subscribers I get from a specific video, so if you don't know at least 2 of the 10 things in this video, then you better subscribe. I want to see how many people actually don't know some of the sneak changes that have been added to Season 8, but if you are already subscribed, then you can always compromise by hitting that like button. But anyway, you better buckle your seatbelts and pull out those clipboards and pens because we're going to start off with number 10. Starting off with number 10, we have the wall paint and the blush being moved from the glasses section to the facial hair section. And I'm not going to lie, I really hate this change because it kind of ruins my fear of having the moustache and the blush, but ayo, I can't really have everything. But it's a really interesting change to see that they're trying to move things around, but it would be nice to also see in the future where we can actually wear multiple cosmetics all at once, maybe the facial hair and also the wall paint, but we'll just have to see. Now moving on to number 9, funnily enough, throughout season 7 you could not heal your emus whatsoever with the fruit on the conveyor belts. But ever since season 8 has been released, they finally have changed it to where you can finally eat the fruit off the conveyor belts with your emu. Now on to number 8, we are still on the topic of emus, but they have finally made it to where you can now heal your feathery friends with dark guns or dark fly guns. Which is really good, having a, an extra way of healing your best friend during the battle. Now again, the only problem with this is that if there is an enemy player on your emu and you try healing the emu, it will actually poison the emu, so keep that in mind whether you're you know, in customs or anything like that, that the emu will take damage if you try healing it when there's an enemy player on your emu. Now moving on to number 7, originally the cat mines were supposed to explode when you reach the limit of how many can be placed down, which is 4. And they finally have fixed that in Season 8 where you can put a maximum of 4 cat mines down, and if you place a 5th one down, the oldest one will explode. So keep that in mind when using cat mines that there is a limit to how many you can place down. Now onto number 6, as you can see, I'm marking a mushroom right here and it says the health mushroom and I'm about to mark the skunk mushroom and as you can see it says skunk mushroom. Originally when you marked a mushroom it didn't really specify the type of mushroom you marked and now they have changed it to where you can actually mark the mushroom for your allies and it states the type of mushroom. Now moving on to number 5, they have finally made it to where the speedy mushrooms effects can be stacked with the more mushrooms you eat. And throughout this clip you can see me eating multiple, multiple mushrooms and speeding around the map. Now keep in mind this also does affect the emu as well, if you start pecking the speedy mushrooms over and over with the emu, it also stacks as well. Now moving on to number 4, we're going to be talking about the Super Juicer. Now the Super Juicer has 4 new changes. Number 1, originally the Super Juicer increased your juice capacity by 50, it now gives you 100, giving you 300 juice in total. Not only that, number 2, you also get 2 times the foraging when you're collecting forageables. Number 3, the obvious look of the juicer is completely different now, as you can see the asset for the juice has completely changed. And number 4, if you have max juice and also max HP, if you start foraging, it will actually drop you the juice you're foraging. Now on to number 3, the minigun buff. Now not many people will realise this because not many people will pick up the minigun or may you know, use the minigun frequently to realise this change but the minigun's wind up has been reduced from 0.72 seconds to 0.48 seconds making it more reliable for certain situations and more dependable to pick up. Now moving on to number 2, we're going to be talking about the skunk mushrooms and funny enough these little things have been buffed making their radius a lot bigger and also making their damage a little bit more higher. So be careful when you're going to be breaking these mushrooms because they're going to be a bit more dangerous. Now moving on to the 10th and final change to Season 8 and most arguably the best change is now that you can pet other people's mini animals in the lobby. And there you have it, the 10 things you may have missed in Season 8. Now if you didn't know at least 2 things from this video, be sure to go and, and press that big red subscribe button as it shows me how many people actually didn't know about some of these changes. And also if you are subscribed but still want to participate, again you can press the big like button down below so I can also see how many of you guys actually didn't know about these changes. And yeah, it was really fun finding out some of these, uh, you know, changes and buffs and stuff like that. Now, I do, I do know there are other ones like the uh, sound changes to the game and also the laughing emote being heavily changed to make it
make it look less toxic, but I want to pick the 10 best ones to show you in this video. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all are staying safe, and I'll see you guys later.